Good day, and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. Yesterday we delved into what makes us who we most uniquely are. In other words, what makes you, you? Uh, that was our homework question. And out of curiosity, uh, what'd you find? What makes you, you? We also introduced what I believe to be the world's simplest model of the brain. <laughs> we introduced this yesterday, and I talked about three different parts, the hindbrain, the midbrain, and the forebrain. And it's this latter one, the forebrain, which is the seat of what most of us identify as our essential selves. It's what makes me, me, and you, you. <clears throat> I want to take a look at that uh, specifically in light of what active addiction does to our four brains, to this very crucial seat of our very personalities. And just as by way of quick review, active addiction, as you'll recall, includes not only the actual ingestion of a substance or indulgence in another kind of addictive behavior, that's true, that's part of active addiction. Remember, we're enslaved to this behavior. But active addiction also includes my craving that substance or behavior ahead of time, as well as my coming down from the rush or the high or whatever other reward I get from uh, ingesting or indulging in that behavior afterwards. So if you think about it this way, the lead up, which equals craving, leads to the payoff, which equals getting high or, uh, or numbing out, which leads to the follow-up, which is coming down or withdrawal. And then the circle re repeats itself because it begins to lead back to craving, leading to the behavior, leading to the withdrawal or the uh, hangover, which leads back to the desire or the craving. <clears throat> That's the addictive cycle. Now this is incredibly important to comprehend what I'm gonna say next. In active addiction, my forebrain, your forebrain, they go offline. Uh, studies that have been done over the last 30 to 35 years, uh, led by Dr. Nora Volkow. She's the head of the National Institute on Drug Abuse in Washington, D.C. These studies over the last uh, uh, three or four decades, they point out two primary brain scan findings, and these are essential to understand to really get at what goes on in active addiction. Just as the midbrain, just as the midbrain's reward center lights up, it's red alert in active addiction so does the forebrain's executive center go dark, darker, darkest. So for today, I'm gonna to ask you, can you identify of the five to 10 core characteristics that we talked about yesterday? These are the things that most make up your own unique personality. Um, just consult the list that you worked on yesterday, and if you didn't do it, go back and review that. Uh, today before you get to this assignment, can you identify out of those characteristics, let's say five to 10 aspects that best express your unique signature, can you identify just exactly how active addiction, whether it's a substance or another behavior or even an attitude, how active addiction has impacted each of those essential parts of what makes you, you? I'd like to ask you to be honest. This isn't always easy around this kind of thing. It can be very painful. Be as open-minded as you can. Actually be as compassionate towards yourself as you can. And certainly stay curious, okay? Let's see what you find. In the meantime, thanks so much for spending part of your day with us here at the Vitality Project. We very much appreciate it. Thank you. Please stay safe, be well, and I hope to see you tomorrow.